All right, guys. Not sure what time it is back on the East Coast, but I know it uh, should be around midnight here. So I appreciate you guys being here and hang with us throughout the game. Um, the best way to sum it up, it's a. Uh, it's the best example of resiliency and uh, toughness and just no quit mentality that I've ever been fortunate enough to be a part of. Um, I mean, the game was 35 to 10 at one point, and all that you saw was guys saying, we're going to do this, you know, because we can do it. And they did. And uh, just kept clawing and scratching. The defense started, you know, holding up, getting us the ball back. And, well, you guys saw the rest, so I'll just go right to questions. Yeah, just when you guys were down 25, when did you see things start to start to change, or what, what ultimately did change? Look, and, and I'll hold by this, and I'm sure it'll show up on film. We did a lot of routine things wrong today, and we dropped a lot of routine passes. You know, we dropped, uh, you know, we had some routine reads that we weren't um, going to follow through on. We started running the ball well, started establishing that, and then we had some high discipline issues on defense where I think in the first half they had half the amount of plays that we had, half the amount of yarders, but were beating us by you know, a couple of scores. So we did a lot of routine things that require uh, discipline, technique, and fundamentals. We did those wrong, and it led to you know, us being in a, in a hole. You know? So we had to do a lot of things right and still did some things wrong to fight out of it. Have you ever seen a quarterback like Cam Ward that can just stay in a game no matter what the score is? And no, I mean, that's why everybody says, oh, you know, when he, if he throws a pick or whatnot, the uh, pull in the range, it's like you can't. I mean, you can't let a guy make that many plays and have that much self-confidence in the moment. It doesn't go your way. Start getting nerved up and start pulling the plug on the whole thing. He, uh, he, the one thing you got to understand, too, as the game goes on, I mean, the other side's getting worn out, too, now. You know, you see the pass rush starts to slow down. The coverage starts to soften up a little bit. We're getting off press better. We're beating man coverage better um, early on. We had a tough time seeing the field. And credit to them. They had two weeks to prepare for us. They, we got every wrinkle, every call beater you could imagine. And they, you know, it's awesome. It's awesome to, um, to travel 3,000 miles, have the air conditioner busted in there, and have the opponent team, the opposing team, have two weeks to prepare for you. Aside from that, everything was perfectly fine. You know? The defense. They really did. That, that was, to me, that was a part. And even we even overcame a face mask after a sack and then got him on the ground again in a big hit. Man, wow, what a big hit. Um, credit to Cal. I, I need to say that, really. I should have said at the beginning to Coach Wilcox and his team, uh, to the environment, you know, the, the provided by, you know, game day and the people here. And then to, um, to Mendoza, who, you know, obviously there's a lot of ties there, you know, go back a ways. Just a, a gutty, talented young man that, Played his his heart out, and um, but all about the Canes. The decision to go for two in the third quarter was pretty huge. Just what went into that decision? Obviously, you're down by a lot. But that's a simple charted. I mean, that's you know the analytics. I mean, we want to gives you a chance away. The score was things were getting away from us. You don't want to make it a two score game and, and end up playing playing in our later on. We go for one, where we're not chasing points. So it was we made the right calls. You know, I felt like. Um, all the stuff regarding that and regarding when we're going to use our timeouts and what we're going to call when. When it's down, when you're down there, it's tricky because you still got to have a touchdown, but there's 30 seconds on the clock. So you can be picky if you want to, but then if it's fourth down and you're, you know, your throat's all lodged up because you haven't scored yet, it's, it's different. So I think, I think Coach Goodry uh, and his coaches made some great adjustments to get us. So I think it was three in a row where they got us the ball right back. It was 35-10, and then it went to 35-18, then 38-18, then 38-25, 38-32, 39-32. Um, him, Coach Dawson, they just kept, they just kept chipping away, man. They just kept working, working the cut. Um, and then again, the, the players, man, the, the leadership on the team. Whenever there was a timeout, TV timeout, injury timeout, whatever it was, you saw offensive players coming out to encourage the defensive guys and the vice versa. You saw a lot of that, and you just saw a team that they just their, their belief in each other is absolutely insane. Because I don't think anyone, I'd be curious to see how many people turned off their TV and moved on. You know, so it's good for them and good for us. Have you ever had a day like this, like in terms of length, where it's you know you're doing game day at 6 a.m. and now it's midnight? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's every day over there in Miami. I mean. That's, yeah. <laughs> 
that's what we do, brother. You know, we get up early. Like this, um, you know what, the travel was great. There was no, I don't think anyone should or could point at that. Um, we handled it the right way. I think all the teams, for the most part, that traveled out west did a good job. Systems are in place, processes in place. So, But um, for the players, they were they want to play ball. You know, and we started out fast, but um, man, we, we, we sure made a. We'll talk about it when we get back home. We made a lot of mistakes tonight. You know. And you mentioned last week. You mentioned last week after the after the Tech game that last year's team or teams before would have found a way to lose that game. Uh, a game like tonight, I feel like maybe teams from the past couple of years might have found a way to just kind of let the game kind of play out. Where do you think they things have changed? Well, I think I need to do a better job uh, articulating certain things because it comes across almost like, you know, down and um, I don't want to do that. You know, I don't. Um, I just I know why it was so important to come back to Miami. Um, moments like this make it, you know, they validate all that stuff is to to get that thing turned, to be part of getting the thing turned where it just you just you fight, you fight to get it done. You find a way to get it done. But, yeah, I don't think I don't know how many teams in the country would have come back against that defense, okay? That, that defense leads the country in interceptions and is a top 10 defense from a production standpoint. So, no, this team has got the, we could be so good, man, and we got to get there because it's, uh, because we have to, because we need to. To build a few more, few more questions. To build on that, Mario. We're good, bro. We're good. The, Go the bye week, is it, is it coming at the kind of the right time to fix it? Yeah, mistakes? we're beat up. Yeah. We are, we're beat up, and we, we had Ruben back tonight. You saw some of the impactful plays he had. But you look at game one, you know, when we were hitting on all cylinders early, we lost four guys that game. We lost uh, Damari. We lost Ryan Rodriguez, Jalen Rivers, Ruben Bain. And those are two of those four guys went out for the coin toss. Those are important guys, you know, and it's been six weeks. Um, and now uh, Ruben looked great tonight, so he'll be at full strength. Uh, Elijah Olsen, we expect him to be back when we get back as well. Jalen Rivers, we expect him to be back. Tomorrow's going to take a little bit longer. And then two things that have to be done. Number one, we've got to get our guys healed up and rested and recovered while at the same time, you know, polishing technique and fundamentals and diving deep into us, uh, self-scout. And the second part is we got to get more guys, um, more of the reserves to play winning football for us. We've got to continue the process and the push for development so that guys can get, when they have meaningful snaps, that they're not just kind of eating up space, you know, that they're actually out there performing their job at a high level and making plays. Mario, last week you mentioned that you don't want game at the end to go down the rest with that last play. Uh, when Wesley, when they were reviewing for targeting, were you holding your breath a little bit on that last defensive drive? You know, I, I didn't. I just gave it to God and said, thank God, you know. Um, so, and it's the way it should be. Well, we can't talk about that in here, you know. We can't say it. No, Cam is Cam's a dog, man. He's a dude. It's one of those. I mean, in his eyes, he was one thousand percent convinced that he was going to get it done. 